Good morning. It's Thursday. Yay, Thursday, 7 in the morning. It is 39 degrees. I'm in Queenstown, New Zealand, still. I am going to go down to this garden area that I went to yesterday because there were some paths on there that I didn't take yesterday and I want to go check them out. There uh, is a wall that has a poem etched into it. It's not vandalism, it's supposed to be there. And I tried to get a video of it yesterday and it didn't come out quite right, so I want to get it today. So that's one of the things I have planned. But um, for some reason it isn't quite as cold as it was yesterday, even though it's the same temperature, 39, maybe I'm getting used to it. So I'll see you guys soon. Look at the ducks, aren't they adorable? So tame, the water is so still. Well, I've taken a few other paths. Bob, you can see way down there at the bottom, there's the little sign I was at yesterday. And here's our view. I'm in Queenstown Park. It's a very beautiful morning. Hardly anybody out. There's a parking lot, it looks like for employees, that's very near where I'm at right now. And this is kind of the path you take to go into the town to go to your job as a in the tourist industry, which is huge here. And um, so I'm gonna go explore a little bit more. Come along with me. So here's the entrance. I guess this is when the residents take. And the view. Again, hardly anybody out. Must be getting close to 7.30 or so. park that uh, found yesterday. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at the ducks. No one here. I'm not really sure what a bowling club is. I know that sounds really bad and very naive, but I, I, is this, um, cricket? Nah, because it's not big enough to be a cricket field. Is it bowling like a bowling ball? No, that didn't make any sense. Is it like croquet? I guess I'll have to ask somebody because I feel really dumb not knowing the answer, but I really don't. But I know that it's beautiful here. Can you imagine how nice it would be to sit out here? Here's your view behind you. I mean, I think I could sit here and watch this, whatever it is. Beautiful. So I've come across a memorial to the fallen people from an Antarctic, um, Antarctic um, 
trip, they were trying to find the South Pole. It was Robert Falcon Scott, Edward Adrian Wilson, and Captain Lawrence Oates. And I read their Wikipedia page last night, and it was very interesting. 1912, they were returning from trying to find the um, South Pole. Somebody beat them to it. But what they did find was scientific um, proof that Antarctica at one point had been joined to the other continents and that it had, um, um, what's it called, fossils. Not fossils, but, you know, proof evidence that there had once been plants and things living in the Antarctic. So they returned... They did not return. In fact, their bodies are still there. But this guy was, these people were heroes in Britain. And I guess because you go to New Zealand to go to Antarctic, it's, it's the closest area, I guess. But um, they were huge heroes back there. But anyway, the Wikipedia page is quite interesting to read. I mean, what a cool name, Robert Falcon Scott. And I remember the line from Red Dwarf um, about oats and how he went out into the I'm going to be out for some time. I'm going out for a walk and I'll be, I'll be gone for a few minutes or something like that. What does he say? He says, I will be, I'm going out for a walk and I may be some time. Because what happened is they were in a, they had a tent and they had no food after a while. They were freezing, but they had enough time to write notes and uh, keep a diary of, of their last days and the things they found and, and so on. So, um, I believe they, from the bodies they found, they found that it looks like Scott was the last to live. And um, they couldn't bring him back when they went over to find him. But anyway, there's memorials to these people in different places all through Australia. But check it out. It really does feel like I'm on mist. And then I'm going to go along a little bit here. And I'm going to find a puzzle or something. Well, I guess I'm going to go back and go to my room and get breakfast, take a shower, pack. Our hotel is right in front of us right now where there's a crane. I don't know if you can see that, but that's where our, my hotel room is. And I am going to finish this walk, which means I have to go all the way down there and around. And then we have to be out of our hotel room by 11 because our we have to move to another hotel. We're going to meet Loretta Marin, who's going to be there, which is really exciting. I've met her before. She's the jelly bean lady. And one of the speakers, she's coming from Australia. And apparently there's going to be some people showing up tomorrow, which is Friday, for the conference. And Friday night is when we start our conference, uh, the meet and greet. There's a quiz show and some exciting stuff like that where I start to actually get to meet people. I'm really looking forward to meeting people and hanging out with people. And then Saturdays, lectures and so on. And I think there's a dinner. And then Sunday, there's more lectures, and I'll be giving some of them, so stay tuned. <laughs>